Банде Гуру Падо Дандам Бхакта Бинда Саманитам Сечайтанна Прабхум Банда Нанда Сахаудитам Сенанда Нанда Нанда Банде Радика Чарана Даям Гопи Жану Самаюктам Бинда Ванаману Харам Ван Шакал Патару Вашаки Пасинду Бавача Патитанан Павуни Бавашна Вибюна Муна Мукан Карути Вача Лан Пангун Лан Хайтигиди Ядки Патаманванди Шна бхакти паде деви сатто ваттвай наму нама Нарайана намаскитта наранча ивана оттама Девин сарасвати ва самтато жайо мадира Санкиртане кишна катху падеши Гаврия патраша пракаса нича Хаданурата гуру бхакти жукта Бхакти Прамадакша Джагот Барану Дейям Сада Пари Бхагна Мавишта Дохан Тетас Падам Сива Виринчину Там Саранам Витати Хампана Давал Бхагади Бхутам Банде Махапуршати Чаруна Рвиндам Яд Пада Паллавана Качанда Маничатай Беспуржита гама пига воду шва дарши, порунану рагара сосагара сарамурти, сарати каму и када кипам каруши. Си кишна чайтанна прабхунита нанда, си аддайта када дхара сива сади, гаура вакта винда, хари кишна, хари кишна. Кишна, Кишна, Хари, 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 Рама, Хари, Рама, Рама, Хари, Хари. Нама, Аджану Ламбита Бхуджо Канака Абодату, Шанкиртану и Капитару Камала Айотакшо. Вишам Бару Дия Бару Джугадар Мапало Банде Джугад Прия Кару Каруна Батару Аре Кишна Аре Кишна 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 Аре 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 Рам Аре Рам 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 Аре Намами Ганге Табабад Панкаджам Сара Сурайр Бандито Дипарупам Буктинча Муктинча Дада Синитам Баван Рупе Гаури нирантара вибуши табам бхагам Нарайяно приямананго мага пахарам Барану сипурапати бхажави шанатам Ваги саджушу бадани Лакшмир ясшата бхакшаси Ясясте Вам не шинга махамбхаджи. Хари Кишна, Хари Кишна, 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 Хари, 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 Рама, Хари, Рама, 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 Хари. Джанг Брама Баронендо Рудда Маруто, Стон Банти Дибай Ставай, 
वेदांगपदक्रमोपनिषद गायती यम सामगावस्थित तदगति न मनसा पश्य योगिना यशं तम न विदु सुरासुरगण देवायुतास्म नम जांग ब्रह्म बरुनेंदरुदम ऋतो सुनवंति दिव्यस्तव वेदांगपदक्रमोपनिषद गायती यम सामगावस्थित तदगते न मनसा पश्य योगिना यशं तम न विदु सुरासुरगण देवायुतास्म नम गौड़ियो गोष्ठी पति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट बॉन्डेड बॉन्डेड सोल्स विद देम दैट इन्फिनिटी भगवान श्री हरि टू गेट कनेक्टेड विद भगवान टू गेट रिलेशनशिप विद भगवान इट्स क्वाइट इम्पॉसिबल और नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल इफ देर इज एनी वर्ड गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन्फाइट एसिमल स्मॉल बॉन्डेड जीवस दे हाउ दे कैन गेट रिलेटेड एंड रिलेशनशिप विद भगवान इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू गेट द रिलेशनशिप इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल द इन्फाइट एसिमल स्मॉल बॉन्डेड जीवस दैट विद इन्फिनिटी भगवान हाउ ही कैन गेट रिलेटेड विद भगवान इट इज नो इम्पॉसिबल नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल भगवान इज एक्चुअली इनफाइन इनफाइनाइट एंड जीवस आर एक्चुअली वेरी इनफाइनाइट एसिमली स्मॉल एंड हाउ दिस रिलेशनशिप कैन बी देयर विद भगवान हाउ यू कैन हैव दैट रिलेशनशिप विद भगवान इट्स इम्पॉसिबल येस दैट्स वाई भगवान हैज जस्ट मेड वन अरेंजमेंट रिगार्डिंग दिस दैट भगवान ऑल्सो नोज दिस दैट बॉन्डेड जीवस any how they can't get any kind of relationship with me at all they cannot connect with me at all that's why bhagwan has one made one arrangement for all those jeevas what is that that bhagwan is actually infinity anant dev nitanand balram that is uh, he is akar guru tatt that uh, satguru in the form of satguru he is coming on this material world manifesting in this material world and each and every particular bonded jeeva he is taking and just by a prema he is just distributing that and he is just taking them to the nitya dham there is no other pathway open apart from that and guru vishnu how they are actually taking that that guru vishnu that bhagwan has full kripa shakti top most uh, or full most 100% surrender onto lotus feet of guru vishnu and bhagwan because guru vishnu they are actual shakti of bhagwan they actually are coming and katha rupi bhagwan that katha rupi in the form of hari katha bhagwan is bhagwan swayam but bhagwan the bhagwan vigra is also bhagwan but hari katha of bhagwan that in the form of hari katha bhagwan is there that it is coming from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu it is coming from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu that bhagwan is coming out of the lotus mouth of guru vishnu in the form of hari katha it means that the vani swarup of bhagwan that aprakrit shabd brahma vani swarup that vani that for bonded jeevas inside the heart of them it will manifest inside their heart and in complete form it is just gonna all kind of uh, uh, all kind of dust particle getting out of the heart of those bonded jeeva and his heart is becoming too much soft after hearing hari katha from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan ka bhagwan ka reflection there is one reflection of bhagwan that bhagwan can sit there inside his heart then propa speaking that with us to get adjustment with bhagwan is very much difficult where there is bhagwan that infinity roop hari and where i am maybe it it is 
if there is any word the again above some impossible that is next to impossible our all proper adjustment with bhagwan is not at all possible for us that's why bhagwan has just given one example regarding this prabhupad ji has given example regarding this that's like that we are on this material earth that we are on this earth and we are actually present here on this earth we are present on this earth and earth on the earth we have our place here and surya narayan surya bhagwan sun god where is sun god oh my god very much far away from the earth bhagwan surya narayan and with surya narayan surya bhagwan this in this material world we are on this earth we have all proper adjustment is there bhagwan has just made that with the sun god so nice adjustment we have got with sun god that on the earth that kind of living beings all are living here in this uh, on this earth is only possible that sun god that he is actually bhagwan has given such a place he has given to that sun god from where there is from where with the sun god there is one all proper adjustment with sun god and our life we are actually running very smoothly i want to speak one regarding this is that that if with sun god sun god is actually is coming very close to us it is it 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 is coming very close to us then we will just become burned into ashes our body will get burned into ashes if sun god is coming very very close to us then our body will be burned into ashes on this earth the living beings are not at all possible everyone will just get burned up and if sun god is we are going very far away if sun god is going very far away very very far away then then by that distance far distance the what will happen so the the living beings can stay here no not at all because it will be too much cold if sun god will be coming too much far away then we will we it is not possible to stay and to live us because the actual heat coming from the surya narayan and the sunshine coming from sun god actually it's that sufficient heat we require in order to stay so it cannot come when it co- every everything trees all the species will just die in cold even for 3 days even 2 3 days that sun god is not at all getting manifested then every whole material world will just get uh, capped into snow so you see so nice vichar of bhagwan is there you see so nice vichar of bhagwan is there that bhagwan is making this vichar that surya narayan is getting all proper adjustment or where from where surya narayan we are having that all proper adjustment from surya narayan and our life is actually i'm getting anand my full of anand we are getting in our life the shlok which i have already started with this shlok of that's infinity anant dev bhagwan that about him about him this which are actually we are discussing that bhagwan that brahma varun indra rudra they are actually just doing prayers to them and with vedanta that way the dhvani is coming just by speaking that way the dhvani they are actually want to pray by that vedant dhvani that they those who are actually doing sam ved those who are doing the kirtan of sam ved for those people those uh, who are doing sam ved kirtan in that relationship that kirtan all the time they are doing that all those uh, top most siddhi yogis those who are actually having that top most dhyan by that dhyan they are actually getting concentrated all the time and they are actually just getting into deep ocean of meditation of bhagwan all the time they are actually meditating on the uh, transcendental swarup of bhagwan and they are taking darshan of bhagwan and all the demigods and and all those demons and asuras that 
that where their actual end is all the demigods and demons or asuras they don't have any kind of place they are actually from at what place their end is from their end where it will start but it you can't get that at all that same parmeshwar bhagwan i actually want to worship with full uh, transcendental bhav i want to serve him i am actually if you ask me rightly if you ask me the actual truth that bhagwan it is impossible to get your relationship with bhagwan only this is the topmost mercy of pure guru vishnuv it is just the pure mercy of pure guru vishnuv that by their kripa that they are actually just uh, they are actually making the arrangement of getting anant dev inside our heart the actual diksha is what does it mean that our heart inside our heart that anant dev is actually getting manifested and we are actually all the time just uh, thinking of bhagwan inside our heart continuously this is the actual rules this is the actual rules now that is the actual most merciful kripa of pure guru vishnu otherwise who will who will do kripa on us nobody can know about that guru gayat sab kuch everything guru gayatri everything is given to us that uh, infinity hari in brahm samhita also that brahma ji maharaj actually become very much uh, surprised who is this actually why because brahma ji maharaj is he is actually taking darshan of bhagwan bhagwan giving darshan to brahma ji maharaj and every updesh instruction he is giving to bhagwan that with bhagwan he that direct instruction he is giving to bhagwan to brahma ji that bhagwan is giving direct instructions to brahma ji yesterday i have already told you just by remembering bhagwan we will get go mad every person no no person having this kind of consciousness no person have this kind of consciousness on this point at all that where is infinity uh, infinity swarup hari and i am infinitesimally small bonded jiva and even i am not at all visible still i have so much false ego inside me so much false ego is not at all going and i have to throw it away my false ego that inside my heart that kind of false ego definitely i have to throw it away every and uh, definitely have to throw it away if false ego is there then nothing will happen yesterday we were actually just discussing on this point that जस्ट बाई टेकिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ आधार शक्ति दैट भगवान इवन ईच एंड एवरी फॉलिसल ऑफ that infinity brahmand is there inside bhagwan that that adhar shakti mai on the on the basis of adhar shakti that sheshakya bhagwan is actually resting on that shesh murti that his own swarup that ananta dev actually bhagwan is just sleeping over that ananta dev that same bhagwan that is the only one swarup of bhagwan only that's why it is told adhar means adhar means that over on the basis of that bhagwan is actually taking rest shesha kya shesto samurti samurti matlab 
some murti moves that is own murti that just bhagwan is actually just taking sleeping over that shesh avatar that each and every hair fall is all of bhagwan that infinity brahman is there inside that that same karan karan ocean that bhagwan is sleeping that he is getting associated with uh, yog nidra bhagwan is getting associated with yog nidra and bhagwan is associating with yog nidra that on the karan ocean that same adi purush govind i want to do bhajan and i am doing the bhajan of that adi purush govind What actually it's written here? After this, yesterday that I've already told, I haven't uh, given the actual description of that in details. What actually told here? What does it mean actually? If inside our heart, if that consciousness is getting developed. then just by thinking that i'll become mad oh my god what he is speaking that infinity swarup hari that mahavishnu that just by taking when mahavishnu is breathing out the transcendental breath of mahavishnu that infinity brahmand is coming out from the breath and just by taking one breath out that infinity brahmands up till infinity time when the actual up till that time when the brahman will be there in each and every inside each and every um, uh, polycell of that mahavishnu that infinity brahman infinity brahman is actually coming out of that and brahma ji maharaj up till that time up till that duration he is he will be living uh, up till that point that same mahavishnu that he is the actual kala vishesh it means it is the ansh of the ansh of that mahavishnu that adi purush govind i am actually want to worship i want to do bhajan of that adi purush govind that same bhagwan that vishnu tatva that top most opulent swarup of vishnu tatva the bonded jivas from where have they can have this kind of vichar bonded jivas can't have this kind of vichar at all after that it is actually written What actually written here? बले भाष्यानु यथा अश्मु अश्मु शोक कलेशु निजेशु तिव्या शियम कियत प्रकटे यति ओपि तद्बद अत्रो ब्रह्मा या एशो जगदंड विधान करता गोविंदमाति पुरुषम तमाम भाष्यानु यथा अश्मु शोक कलेशु निजेशु तिव्या शियम कियत प्रकृति ओपी यद वदत्रो ब्रह्मा या ईशो जगदंड विधान करता गविंदमादि पुरुषम तमाम बजामी क्या बताया वच एक्चुअली रिटर्न हियर भाष्यानु यथा अश्मोशो कलेशु निजेशु तिया शियम कियत प्रकृति ओपी यद वदत्रो ब्रह्मा या ईशो जगदंड विधान करता 
What does it mean actually? Like the sun god. Like sun god. Like sun god. That that the very uh, indifferent leela of Bhagawan we can see that with the Bhagawans that the sunshine are, the sun rays are having relationship with sun and the moon rays are having a, a, a relationship with the moon it is actually very surprising to see and it's very much uh, amazed to see but that is the top most permanent point which you need to make sure so by this which are this, this you need to understand that astrologers everything they used to tell that is the ast- on the basis of astrology from where it has come it has come from here only astrology astronomy everything has just came from here so what does it mean actually that like sun the actually the sunshine and the sun is having that relationship that jewel and surya kantamani that uh, sun can just that the sun the jewel the jewel can uh, it is not a matter of joke that the jewel can take all the uh, necessary uh, elements of the sun this is definitely there it is not a matter of joke like sun god like sun god that's that kind of jewel made of that sunstone inside that the all the elements of the sunshine necessary elements are getting imbibed into that and it can manifest all the qualities of sun not all but it can to some extent it can manifest the qualities and characteristics of uh, the sun that same stone inside that say this is not a matter of joke this is definitely i am speaking right like like uh, inside a moonstone that the s- ma- moon can just uh, give his power and in the sun uh, and in the sun uh, stone the sun can imbibe all the power into that no uh, maybe you have already have uh, in bhagavad gita mahapurana you already can remember this that uh, in the 12th canto in the dwarika leela bhagwan shri krishna over he is getting one kind of uh, uh, false false uh, case that bhagwan has just taken the samantak money bhagwan has just uh, robbed the samantak money someone uh, has uh, told uh, that krishna has done it and one kind of uh, case was false case was given on to bhagwan and bhagwan speaking that i haven't taken that jewel at all i haven't taken that jewel at all this actually is your uh, part only and then after that bhagwan taken that seven tak jewel and given it back to them so understand the point so actually it is written here that seven tak jewel all uh, every day every day maybe or how much tons of gold it can it can just uh, take i can also have this uh, topmost news which is actually true it's not a false news that i have already heard it that our pundarik vidyanadi our gorang parshad pundarik vinyad vidyanadi who is is vishvanu maharaj just by the king vishvanu he is actually uh, remembered that same vishvanu maharaj that that your every day pundarik vidyanadi every day that shalgram shila when he used to do worship that i have already seen that shalgram still that shalgram is there in calcutta but today though no gold is coming out of that was previously we already heard that gold is actually coming out of shalgram every day gold is coming out i and i am actually becoming surprised that definitely gold is coming out of shalgram but now actually it's totally stopped previously it was uh, you used to get that gold 
So, this is not a joke that what I am speaking. This is actually a truth. That just by the kripa of sun god, that inside that samantap jewel, it is coming into that sun, sunstone. Why? How it is getting manifested? Because samantap jewel, that Bhag- Bhagwan's Vivaswan, sun god has given it. Sun god has given that samantap jewel. And every day that gold is coming out of that samantap jewel. Bhagwan Shri Krishna already told that this... Uh, this is actually the uh, treasure of the government. You just make one treasure of the government. That for the government you make some kind of treasure. So that infinity, uh, so all the mangal of all the material created jivas you will get in that. All the jivas will get their mangal by that. That father of Satya Bhama. So whatever be the case. So, Sun God, Sun God, like He is inside the sunstone, like Sun God, is actually imbibing or manifesting all His power into the uh, sunstone. And all the, all the characteristics and qualities, He is actually imbib- imbibing and manifesting that inside the sunstone. The in normal in normal paraphernalia in, in normal case we can see that that he, that same vibhin ansh swarup in the same case like vibhin ansh swarup like the topmost which is topmost case vibhin ansh is uh, uh, is not at all uh, normal jiva it is actually brahma is topmost more than uh, the normal jivas from brahma from where that uh, who is get that uh, he is getting the adhar shakti and he is creating the all material creation that same adi purush govind Pur, uh, purush govind i want to worship i am I'm, i want to worship that adi purush govind you understand the point what i am speaking like sun god inside a sunstone he is just manifesting all the power and characterizing into that sunstone that in the same way Bhagwan has manifested the power inside the Adhar Shakti, inside Brahma, so that uh, material creation can get created. In order to create the material creation, and Vishnu Bhagwan is actually maintaining uh, the whole creation, and Shankar uh, Rodra is just destroying it. What actually spoken here? Nijeshu te yaha kiyap na shiyam shiyam kiyap prakateti jadvadatro brahma esho jagadando vidhana karta gavindu nandi prasutamam ashyanu yatha ashmo shakalishu nijeshu te yaha siyam kiyap shiyam kiyap prakateti opi Tadvat Atro Brahmaya Isha Dhagadandu Vidhana Karta Gavindamadi Purusham Tamam Bajami Bhashyanu Yatha Asmosha Kalesha Nijesha Teyaha Shiyam Kiyat Prakatayati Opi Yadvat Atro Brahmaya Isha Dhagadandu Vidhana Karta Gavindamadi Purusham Tamam Bajami In this uh, Vishay, some kind of things we just need to learn what all those things are. That Brahmaji Maharaj is of two types. Brahma is of two types. How it's of two types? It's of two types because that uh, in some kalp, in some kalp, some uh, uh, very, uh, some jiva, I have already told you previously also regarding this point, that uh, in their life, in the life of some jivas, in the sci- life of some jivas, that from previous previous sanskar, that up till hundred lives, that he is following Varnashrada in total, but completely, that from their previous sanskar, from the previous hundred lives, that perfect Varnashram dharma he is actually following perfectly, who have already followed it completely, then he can get the actual. Uh, uh, 
एक्चुअल पथ ऑफ ब्रह्मा जी महाराज एंड इन सम कल्प सम एलिवेटेड जीव दैट काइंड ऑफ भगवान शक्ति इज गेटिंग इन साइड द इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ दैट जीवा एंड दैट सेम काइंड ऑफ एलिवेटेड जीवा कैन बिकम ब्रह्मा इन हिज लाइफ एंड कैन जैन कैन एंड कैन डू द क्रिएशन वर्क ऑफ दिस मटीरियल क्रिएशन बाय द आधार शक्ति ऑफ भगवान सम जीव सम एलिवेटेड जीवा कैन डू दैट नॉट एवरी जीवा I have already told you that in their life, that from the previous hundred lives, they are completely following in total accurately Varna Ashram Dharm. They are following that. It is possible for them to follow Varna Ashram Dharm for previous hundred years. They can get the actual path of Brahma Ji. So Brahma is of two types: one in one kalp, first in one kalp. That some elevated jiva, elevated or qualified jiva, that Bhagwan Shakti is getting inside the uh, heart of that jiva. and that jiva can work the can do the work of brahma and can do the work of brahma and can do the creation work of this material creation and the in the other kalp and the in the other kalp some no jeev they have got there is no qualified jiva if they are not getting then then what will happen that from the previous kalp that from the previous kalp brahma that from the previous kalp of brahma he already gone so now he is already gone now so what will happen that from the pre- pu- previous kalp of brahma bhukt means that he will be just getting if he has he doing bhajan then he will be going above if he is not at all doing bhajan then he'll again fall down and after that when he is become uh, getting uh, mukt from that position krishna by his own shakti he is actually dividing his shakti that his own shakti bhagwan is getting dividing dividing it and rajogun avatar brahma ji he is actually manifesting from his own navel that that tattat of brahma that tattat of brahma that he is actually very much elevated from the normal bonded jivas but he is not at all swayam ishwar but and 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 in shambhu also brahma ji has he has more ishwarta than brahma shambhu that shambhu inside shambhu he has more uh, elevation than brahma and more ishwarta as compared to brahma it is already man 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 mature in matured form in shambhu so actually i want to speak uh, regarding this is that the actual conclusive point what i want to speak regarding this is that that brahma inside brahma ji that jivas that kind of materialistic elements that five kinds of material ali 55 qualities of the jivas are already getting manifested inside brahma and in shambhu definitely those 55 qualities are there what are already there in the jivas but apart from that extra that uh, five qualities that it has more that inside brahma ji there are five special qualities are there and these special five qualities and characteristics in shankar has more than that you understand the point actually want to speak that brahma ji brahma ji are having that uh, all 50 qualities inside brahma ji mar and more than five qualities are there in brahma ji maharaj apart from the ordinary jivas and in the anshik swarup these five qualities are already there in brahma ji maharaj and in shambhu already 50 qualities of the jivas are there plus the five qualities of brahma special qualities of what were brahma is already there plus another five qualities are there inside shambhu more than uh, five qualities in fine form is there inside shambhu already there in that so this is your actual vichar of shambhu tattva what i have already told you and and the next shlok this the 50 number shlok which will be discussing that is very much strange shlok What actually written here? Kumbh, 
कुंभ कुंभ नॉट कुंभे गणपति महाराज गणपति महाराज गणपति महाराज हम लोग वी आर एक्चुअली जानते हैं ऑलरेडी नो गणपति महाराज विघ्न विनाशनकारी गणपति महाराज हु इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग ऑल द काइंड ऑफ पैरियर्स गणपति महाराज नेम इज विघ्न विनाश दैट हु इज जस्ट रिमूविंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल बैरियर्स फ्रॉम आर लाइफ सो दिस विघ्न विनाश वॉट वी आर स्पीकिंग दैट गणपति महाराज दैट सम विचार ऑफ गणपति महाराज दैट काइंड ऑफ तत्व ऑफ गणपति महाराज द गणपति तत्व गणेश तत्व इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड अदरवाइज इफ यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड देन if you will not you will not understand it completely so it's very uh, less which are i'll be just speaking that who is actually ganesh who is ganpati maharaj the first thing that who is actually ganpati maharaj he is actually shankar bhagwan that vaishnav raj shambhu only and devi maya parvati uma that it is the actual son of uh, both parvati and shiva that ganpati maharaj his uh, place is there with uh, durga devi he, he also have that separate uh, place also like in kanchipuram from uh, when you are then the old king of odisha he is actually going to the south india and taking the ganpati towards uh, in jagannath temple he is taking that uh, ganpati he is actually is taking from kanchipuram that the king of odisha and the, what is the actual uh, mystery of ganpati maharaj that he is the actual son of uh, parvati devi and shankar bhagwan so what is his work actually his work is that that leadership he is has the topmost leadership qualities in him ganpati maharaj that is vigna vinashan he is destroying all the kind of barriers and any kind of entrepreneurship what is there inside us that kind of something i have to do this kind of uh, that kind of siddhi if we if we need that ganpati maharaj is bestowing upon us that is the actual work so that we can get the siddhi in our interpreter entrepreneurship so you see all kind of businessman everyone businessman they are actually just worshiping ganpati maharaj and in bombay they, they everyone is worshiping ganpati maharaj in mumbai and ganpati bappa morya in south india also you can see they are very worshiping very nicely ganpati maharaj that prabhupad always used to speak ganpati maharaj that ganpati maharaj is a symbol of leadership arbhutva ka murti hai he is actual symbol of leadership or and it bigno vinas and he is vigna vinash how he is actually removing barriers he is removing barriers but uh, the actual master of ganpati maharaj the actual master of ganpati maharaj he is actually is narsingha dev and to on to the lotus feet of narsingha dev he is taking it on his head ganesh ji maharaj is taking the lotus feet of uh, narsingha dev on his head and after that he is actually going ahead that uh, he is taking the power of narsingha dev ganpati maharaj that he is just uh, destroying all the kind of material barriers he is actually working like that by taking the blessings of narsimha dev binidhayo kumbho dande pranam samesh ganadi raya bignan vihant malavas jagat prayasu govindaman kusham ye ganpati maharaj this ganpati maharaj in this material world he is actually de- destroying all the kind of barriers of this material world and is working like that and ganesh ganpati maharaj in this he is actually destroying all the uh, barriers of this uh, three worlds and just by taking the shakti actual shakti from the onto the lotus feet of uh, narsimha dev he is just putting his head onto the lotus feet of narsimha dev so that he can get that adhar shakti from narsimha dev and can destroy all the kind of barriers by his shakti and he is getting the kripa from narsimha dev 
Ganpati Maharaj, you understand the point what I'm speaking? So, so this Nishingadev, from where he has come? Nishingadev has come from where? Nishingadev has come from Govindamadi Purisham Tamham Bajami. That said, he is coming from that same Govinda, Nishingadev. So, You understand the point? So, so Ganapati Maharaj, Ganpati is, the Maharaj of leadership and leadership or both the symbols are there with Ganpati Maharaj. One is, he is Vigna Vinashan, destroying everything. And second is entrepreneurship. That Uddog means the actual Siddhi of entrepreneurship is actually with the Ganpati Maharaj. Ganpati Maharaj is one question is coming in us that from that why actually he is actually uh, taking the ride on the mouse. Why he is actually sitting on the mouse and he is such a <laughs> fat, such a fat man. How he can just sit on the mouse? Mouse will definitely gonna get killed. He has so much weight. Mouse is mouse. He is very small. Okay. Yes. So the actual darshaning vichar is there regarding this. That Ganpati Maharaj on that mouse he is actually riding. That definitely he has some kind of uh, power. Uh, he will get, uh, he will be killed. It's not like that. But still, there is one kind of darshanik vichar. The darshanik vichar in this is that, that Ganpati Maharaj, that on uh, the mouse, this vichar is actually sitting there. That who is this mouse? That it is very, uh, mouse is very much small. He don't have any power at all. Yes. So, the, they are all general public. Those all all general public. They are compared with that mouse. Those from all the four uh, directions. That all the four directions. On that boat. Means that on the boat. On to that boat. One leader is actually just sitting on that. That is very much important. In this normal material world. That in the Loktantra democratic world. In this democratic world, that the people are all independent. People on them, that Janardhan, Janardhan means that if Janardhan is doing Kripa, then only they can understand. But they are foolish, they are independent. That all those people, they will be voting whom? The more, more votes will be there, the, the that power will be just going to that. So for normal person, on the basis of normal person, they are actually believing that. One leader is actually just uh, getting selected. So that same Ganeshji Maharaj is a symptom of uh, leadership. He is actually presenting himself as a top, topmost leader. And he is sitting on the general public. So this his name is Ganpati Maharaj. So actual conclusive purport of this point is that that kind of karya, that uh, this kind of work who is already there in destroying the material barriers. Ganpati Maharaj is there all the time working like uh, destroying the barriers. That kind of eligibility, in order to get the eligibility, Ganpati Maharaj is actually, he is the actual upasya of those Uttaradhikaris. Means that he is actually upasya Sagun Brahma by that in inside five devatas he is the actual uh, swami of all those five devatas ganpati maharaj this same ganpati maharaj bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking regarding this that same ganpati maharaj is uh, just he is one shakta vashisht adhikarik demigod 
दिस गणपति महाराज इज सकता अविष्ट आधिकारिक डेमी गॉड जस्ट बाय द कृपा ऑफ गोविंद ही इज एक्चुअल वी कैन जस्ट गेट द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट सेपरेट ग्लोरिफिकेशन इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर सो ऑन टू द लोटस वीट ऑफ नरसिंह महादेव ही इज जस्ट टेकिंग इट ऑन हिज हेड एंड हु इज एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रॉइंग ऑल द बैरियर्स ऑफ दिस मटीरियल क्रिएशन एंड गेटिंग द एलिजिबिलिटी टू डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल द बैरियर्स इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड गणपति महाराज You understand the point what I'm speaking? After this, there again that point is coming. What is actually coming after that? Was actually written here. nine kind of elements by that nine elements this material world is getting manifested is actually created by these nine elements you understand the point from these nine elements water fire air uh, water uh, air ether atma time place and uh, objects from these nine of the things this uh, the material world is getting manifested so, uh, this uh, heaven hell and this material world so from where so from where these all these jeevas are getting manifested from where all khiti all sky where actually it's coming so from every nine elements from it it is getting manifested that same kind of uh, manifestation of these nine elements that who is actually getting uh, stiti that and at the time of destruction we have to just go inside that that same adi purush uh, we have to go you haven't understand what i'm speaking that all these uh, fire water air ether atma time and our mind and intelligence they are actually this whole material creation is getting created and this all these four nine elements are getting out of that that from all these nine elements all the time they are getting uh, manifested in that and at the time of destruction again they are going into that 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 is the same adi purish govind you understand the point agnir mahi gagana mambu maruddishasyo kala hastatatmo manasi ti jagatrayani yasmat bhavanti vibhavanti vishanti ancho gavindamadi purusham tamam bhajami Yeah, what I was actually spoken here. That our five elements, punch both, keep it up or take marudbam. That time, jivatma, place, that ling of the jivas, that fine body of the livers, gross body, mind, intelligence, ankar, false ego. Just by leaving that. in this material world nothing is there apart from these nine elements it is full of these nine elements it is full of khiti or potej marudbam everything is there all those bonded jeevas that fine body is there inside the bonded jeevas that five false ego mind intelligence apart from this 
this whole material world nothing what is there in this material world nothing is there at all this is all in this material world maybe this representation is different but it is the same what i have already spoken these nine elements these all four punch booth jivatma evam bhagya jivo ka jo linga sharir man buddhi chitta ka sari buddhi all these nine elements i have already told you every nine elements apart from this in this material world nothing is there at all apart from that in this material world nothing is there at all and and those who are actually busy in karma kand all the time busy in karma kand those who are those all who are karmigan who are believing in karma kand those who are doing havan in the yagyas swaha swaha just by speaking that they are doing yagya that in karma kand they are actually having a full faith in that those people who are actually in the agni they are doing ahuti they are doing yagya that all those bahirmukh bonded jeevas that definitely they apart from this nothing they don't know anything apart from that of this material creation in this material world they are not at all believing it and they are not at all accepting it also and those who are dry philosophers those who are mayavadis those who are uh, dry gyanis that same atma ramata they are actually just glorifying that atma ramata of that uh, supreme purush that all the that he is speaking that all those jivas are atma himself that sankhya sankhya vidya also that what they are speaking about prakriti that they are actually just uh, deciding everything on the basis of prakriti prakriti and whatever that sankhya is atma and the sankhya atma is already there inside it it means that all kind of uh, all kind of tattvavadi that nidrist tattva that it is just like a boat going here and there so from this all these nine elements are coming all those nine tattvas are coming and where actually it is uh, manifested and after destruction these nine elements will be just going into that into that same that name is adi purush govind his name is adi purush govind that same govind i am actually used to worship him that same govind i want to worship that same govind and i am worshiping that same govind that govind apart from that govind nothing is there in this material creation Apart from Godin, nothing is there in this whole material world. Infinity Brahman, wherever you go, nothing is there apart from Govind. Everything is Govind. You understand the point where I am speaking. राजा समस्तो शूरो मूर्ति अशेषते यहाँ भ्रमति संभृत कालचक्रो What actually it's told here? The next sloka about in the fifty-two number sloka. शन 
God, infinity, uh, infinity planets, and infinity muktis are there under the lotus feet of Govind. He is the master of all, and it's just the eyes of all this material creation. It's Jagat Chakshu. That another name of sun is, another name of sun god is Jagat Chakshu. That Dinamani, Savita, Surya, all these are the names of sun god. Savita, that this uh, and Savita, Savita, they are thinking they are actually this is a female word but it is not like that that Kavita is a female but Savita is not at all female it is actually male it is male form that's why that sun god other name of sun god is Savita in Gayatri also it is written from Gayatri so whatever be the case so all those uh, the master of all the material creation these are actually eyes of this material creation that same sun god that bhagwan on that uh, that bhagwan is actually just going in bhagavatam also about about it it is written about balikhila rishi these all are actually just uh, taking the chariot of sun and they are taking it away from sun god and sun god this uh, different different uh, uh, eleventh eleven kind of different rudra are there of the sun god we similarly have uh, twelve kinds of sun gods dwadash rudra are there of there are twelve kind of suns are there the sun god is actually manifesting in twelve 12 uh, suns and in 12 months different different 12 months each month they are giving different different kind of effects and uh, rishis are actually taking the chariot from the that sun god and bhagwan surya narayan he is actually the jagat chakshu but still those who are having that uh, uh, in knowledgeable that this kal chakra who is actually sitting on that kal chakra that adi purush govind I am born to worship. I want to do bhajan of that Adi Purush Kovin. So what the actual conclusion of this is that that from lot of uh, Vedic according to the lot of Vedic which are that in the Vedic lok that sun is actually considered as brahm and is worshiped like that that in the previous lok i have already told that this that in panchupasana sun is actually coming worship of sun when you are actually in panch uh, busy in panchupasana then they will be they are not at all pure vaishnav they are actually speaking that they are vaishnav but they are not at all actually vaishnav at all they are actually giving their introduction that they are vaishnav but they are not at all vishnu 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 they are not at all vishnu vishnu they are panchupasar inside panchupaka ganpati will come devi will come shankar will come sun god will come and vishnu will come but they don't know this concept that this sakt avesh visakt avesh vishishta devata this sun god he is not at all swayam bhagwan they don't know this they thinking that uh, he is actually swayam bhagwan they don't know at all this conception so panch upasak inside that they are actually coming in that category they are not pure vaishnavas they are coming in panch upasak bhasan god also come in panch upasak yes definitely they are it is coming there so lot of uh, according to the vedic vichar that uh, sun god is actually compared with brahma so actually there is no fault in that in that way the part you, there some kind of confusion will come sometimes brahma and indra some very big uh, place is given in the vedas and maybe that uh, all those uh, 
those who have just given the given the actual purport of those uh, vedas they have spoken that at that time in the vedas that indra has given lot of respect uh, at that time just be sure that that brahma that that indra and bhagwan there is no difference at all they are tatatma otherwise brahma, indra has given he is by speaking indra is comparable with brahm there is no yukti they are in the vedas at all so this uh, vedic this vedic according to the vedic vichar sun god is actually compared with brahma and is just given the actual uh, com- uh, they are worshiping him as brahma and there is no fault in that at all so about sun god i have already told ganpati maharaj devi maiya shankar bhagwan suraj sun god and uh, vishnu these are five pa- five upasak there comes in the category of panch upasak those who are doing panch upasak they actually giving the actual recognition as pure guru vishnu but they are not tall vishnu at all so so all uttap ka karan actual uh, actual reason of all this uh, tap tap means actual heat effect what we are getting it's from sun god and his actual uh, reason of this all creation and whatever the jivas are actually living it's because of sun god then how it is possible if sun god is not at all there it is not at all possible so sun is the actual cause of all the living cre- creatures whatever uh, i have just given you the a uh, description regarding this details but the actual adha uh, adhisthaste devata of uh, sun can be there of this there is no kind of uh, uh, no kind of uh, question regarding that but uh, but sun god sun god is just one kind of uh, uh, burning burning pind he is just one kind of burning ball just like that pind we can't speak pind is just a, i can't explain that pind is pind no word in english sorry it's just a burning pind just a burning circle you can say the sun god is just a burning burning circle and it the the adishastha deta presiding deity of that sun can be there so it's just one kind of burning uh, circle that is the actual adhisthatri of this material world so definitely he is one kind of presiding deity principal prince presiding deity but some kind of principal deity of that presiding deity can be there and that according to the actual instructions of govind surya dev is actually doing his work or in this material creation if we are speaking that surya na we is just one kind of separate demigod and he is parmeshwar it is not at all good sun god is actually parmeshwar it's not at all good this is actually totally wrong conception this is a wrong conception by thinking sun god as parmeshwar bhagwan parasur sun god is not at all parmeshwar but mayavadi and inside mayavadi is this vichar is there all the all the four direction this vichar is there and a lot of vichar is there by this vichar they are actually all busy in that so hamara bhagwati this in our bhagwat ji mahapuran in the third canto bhagwan kapil bhagwan is actually speaking about his mother devahuti is actually speaking to his mother devahuti air is actually just blowing because of my fear and each and every every demigod is actually in their own seva just by my fear they are actually doing that there is uh, no independent will of them they don't have individual power and independent will to do something so these are all adhikari they are actually given duty by me sun god is there 
in this material world all these actually life is there of the material creation so we can think like that but definitely parmeshwar the he is it is not at all like that this is totally wrong conception so about this point very much important just by thinking that because mahaprabhu speaking that all even uh, fraction of hair and hair this kind of vichar is there in brahm samata that kind of siddhant vichar is impossible to understand that's why shri man mahaprabhu that tattva granth brahm samita inside that the he is the top, it is the top most and the rasa tattva vichar uh, we don't have at all we don't have adhikar but mahaprabhu ji has just from south india he has taken from south india one is brahm samita and one is krishna karnamrit so whatever whatever be the case so up till this point we will be doing the vichar अबाउट दिस वॉट एक्चुअली नेक्स्ट इज रिटन दैट धर्म धर्म वॉट इज दैट अबाउट दिस एक्चुअली इट इज रिटन इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोका धर्म अधर्म सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज धर्म अधर्म एंड सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज अधर मीन्स सिंह सिंफुल श्रुति वेदास स्मृति ऑल कॉइंट ऑफ तपस्या from brahma up till the ants he all the jeevas that all kind of prakritik prabhav ho ke vidwan hai who is it means that just be careful and be attentive you just need to hear it attentively that dharma adharma evam adharma dharma adharma atatpa that sinful activities everything if you mix धर्म एंड अधर मीन्स गुड एंड सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज श्रुतिगण स्मृति तपस्या एटसेट्रा फ्रॉम ब्रह्मा अप टिल द एंड ऑल दो जीवस ऑल दो काइंड ऑफ ऑपुलेंट मूड एंड ऑपुलेंट मूड इज देयर इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन साइड देम ऑपुलेंट मूड इज देयर ऑलरेडी इन साइड देम दैट सेम आदि पुरुष भगवान आई वॉन्ट टू वर्शिप हिम I want to do bhajan of that Adi Purush. The actual purpose of this thing is that that dharma. Dharma to shaksha Bhagavat Pranita. Aya hai na? It's already written na in Bhagavatam. Is this which are already there in Bhagavatam? What's that? Dharma, or that? Dharma means 
that vedodito that which kind of dharm coming in the vedas that what kinds of uh, things you need to follow according to the vedas that is called dharma that is param dharma shavai pungsham paro dharma yato bhakti radha shaje ahitu ki apratihata jayatma su prasidh iska naam param that is called param dharma so dharma it means that that vedodita with that all kind of uh, uh, activities written in the vedas in the you have to follow varna dharma ashram dharma according to that again if you go inside that that you categorize that brahman khatriya vaishya shudra these are four varna that the kind of different kind of behavior according to the behavior they are uh, doing uh, their activities and uh, Brahm- brahmachari grahast vanprastha sanyasi then all these four ashram that that dharma is actually called dharma actual dharma that dharma again again i am speaking that what is actually written in the vedas that kind of dharma which you are following that vedodito dharma which is coming from the vedas that varna dharma ashram dharma already written inside that again if you categorize Brahm, brahman khatriya vaishya shudra these four varnas that kind of natural behavior that is called varna dharma if you are following that okay and that is called varna dharma and again brahmachari grahast vanprast sanyasi these are ashram dharma that kind of activities according to your ashram that is called ashram dharma varna dharma and ashram dharma is directly i'm speaking so these two kind of dharma varna varna dharma and ashram dharma these two dharma that kind of dharma that is uh, that is the all the kinds of that all kind of acharan in their life they need to perform according to these varna dharma and ashram dharma that same two them same kind of two dharma inside that all kind of acharan what a human being will be doing that in his whole life that is actually already uh, there written and uh, this kind of inside this two kind of dharma what uh, all those human beings have to do or not to do every kind of things are already written that what kind of acharan they have to follow or not to follow it's already written there in the vedas paap sakal that paap sakal paap sakal artho paap mulak avidya o paap asan that lot of uh, category is there regarding uh, sin as well in bhagavad gita mahapurana in fifth canto it is written lot of categories are there of uh, sinful activities out of this i'll be just discussing a few categories of the sinful of the sin so sin different kind of sins are there there are different kind of sins the the topmost mool of all the sinful activities is avidya that is the topmost pap mahapap that avaid acharan if you are doing that in the shruti gans in the shruti that rig sam yajur atharv and tadiya sira bhushan upanishads in the shruti gans according to that vichar that rig sam yajur atharv actually is coming in that and in the vedas that mukut mani that are actually uh, crest jewels are upanishads there are 108 upanishads uh, in that and the pradhan is the 11 upanishads isho upanishad keno katho manduk manduk these are all isho all these upanishads are come you all maybe you can understand this so in all these shruti gandhi rig sam ved yajur are coming and if veda is also getting categorized again into upanishads and tap samuh ka means the actual tap meaning of tap samuh that that whatever uh, rules and regulations uh, written uh, in about to the vedas rules and regulations we have to do regarding tap jap we have to do these are all written in the vedas that is vedodit dharma all different kinds of things are there that just by targeting dharma what kind of practices and instructions written in the vedas we it is very much uh, you have to follow that 
लाइक अर्ली मॉर्निंग यू हैव टू हैव टू फॉलो ब्रह्मचार्य अर्ली जस्ट फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गुरुदेव हैव टू डू फास्टिंग एकादशी एक्सेट्रा दीज आर एक्चुअली कमिंग इन तप अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ गुरुदेव इट इज एक्चुअली डन दिस इज एक्चुअली तप इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू प्रैक्टिस अदरवाइज वी कैन कांट गो टू हिमालय फॉर तपस्या बट वी हैव टू फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गुरुदेव दैट काइंड ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग द सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज and in ashtang yog that kind of brahm knowledge inside that that is the actual that punch uh, that kind of tap what i have told you is very much difficult to follow that is very much important to uh, learn our with in front of us our bhagwan had this punch tap bhagwan is doing in front of us शंकर भगवान ही यूज टू डू पंच तप पंच तप आप शंकर भगवान यूज टू डू दैट इज एक्चुअली स्पेशल इन हिज लाइफ दोज हु कैन डू पंच तप इट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट बट द एक्चुअल पैथवे ऑफ नाम संकीर्तन शोन बाय महाप्रभु वी हैव टू फॉलो दैट वॉट टू डू वी कॉन्ट डू तपस्या एट ऑल पंच तप पंच तप वी कॉन्ट डू एट ऑल सो दिस फ्रो लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस this panchata uh, opposite uh, uh, details are given all actually uh, different kind of uh, conclusion is given that kind of ugra tapasya strictly prohibited in our way of bhakti in each and every way in gaudiya bhajan ugra tapasya is strictly prohibited strictly prohibited ugra tapasya why because inside our heart if your heart is becoming very tough if by tapasya your heart is becoming very tough then that prem bhakti in order to get it is very far away we cannot get which is our main target our in our gode sampradha the, what is the actual treasure that is prem bhakti if we are not at all getting that then what we will get if our heart will become very tough then prem bhakti cannot come at all that's why prabhupad always used to speak this point मटीरियल थिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट गुड सो सम बैलेंसिंग कंडीशन शुड बी देयर सो भगवत सेवा शुड बी देयर इट शुड बी कनेक्टेड विद भगवत सेवा दैट द पॉइंट सो this paap sakal this i have already told you this is all avaita char and in the shutigan vivek sam yajur yajur sam and the actual crest well of uh, vedas is upanishad and upanishad the actual uh, conclusion is already there in the vedanta so tap samuh ka so all those uh, tap samuh what is the actual meaning of that tap samu what is the actual meaning of tap samu in that uh, actual in order to just uh, uh, protect the dharma all different kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, practices it's very much important to do means that our jo swabhav what is our actual behavior that our actual behavior that our uh, distorted behavior that by the actual effect of maya by the contact of maya what is her having that distorted behavior that kind of uh, behavior distorted behavior it is actually in order to rectify that that is also called tap guru vishnu under the guidance of guru vishnu you understand the point so this tap this tap samu dharm just by indicating that just by indicating that uh, dharma whatever kind of different kind of uh, instructions we have to follow of pure guru vishnu niyam rules regulation shraddha adhyay nishtha uti sunne ka samjham ba baatein bolne ka samjham speaking controlling your tongue controlling your mouth everything ekadashi etc tithi you just need to follow 
with full nishta this is all very much important so because tap samoh all become useless if the actual udeshya is not directed towards bhagwan like hiranyakashipu hiranya hiranyaksha no use no value of their tapasya at all hiranyakashipu hiranyaksha whatever tap they are doing what is their actual value no value at all because it is not at all directed towards bhagwan they are asur that's why mahaprabhu also speaking are even asuras are also doing tapasya Pan Brahmachari is just taking milk, and Shuklaam Brahmachari only used to take milk, and he also wants to see the Ras Sankirtan of Mahaprabhu, and Mahaprabhu just speaking with very, uh, very uh, angry mood. Hey, what are you thinking? Huh? That he definitely has kripa of Bhagwan on him, just in order to teach us that. Oh, what are you thinking of yourself? Huh? Just by tapasya, I I can get. You can get me. You have done tapasya. And where you just you are becoming milk milk baba taking milk only all the time, just by taking milk I will be getting, huh? Not at all. Are asuras are also doing tapasya. What is the result they are getting? That Sakuni Nandan, Shakuni Nandan, he is not at all doing tapasya, huh? Hiranya Kashyap hasn't done tapasya. Hiranya Kashyap has now not done tapasya at all. Ravan hasn't done tapasya. Yes, definitely he has done. But what is the actual result out of that? What result they have got? What they have got? Just by doing tapasya, you are getting false ego inside your heart. So, this whatever tapasya, we, if we are doing that, lot of places. i have already told in kodiya vichar they are also now i have told if you can just take it then it is good otherwise what i can do there is one it is very much difficult to do panch tapa shankar bhagwan used to do all the all the four places all four direction you are burning up the fire and in between you are just staying in the mudra and just meditating and in all the four direction you are they are uh, you are putting into water in a very cold water this is panch tapa in the in the rain water during rainfall this actually is only getting uh, good giving goodness to shankar bhagwan but it is not at all good for us so this panch tapa this activity this some sadhus are doing but it is not at all uh, good to do because you are not at all getting prem bhakti in that shankar bhagwan we cannot compare ourselves with shankar bhagwan because his swarup is vairagya he is not at all actually uh, doing any kind of joking at all he is topmost vairagi so sometimes that tapasya that vishay just by discussing that sometimes some people they are also speaking that panch tapa vishay but it is very much difficult to do in this your heart will become too much tough and by tough heart you will not at all get prem bhakti at all and sometimes some ashtanga yog that brahm gyan nishtha inside some he is actually counting in that as well so this all kind of uh, that according to the karma chakra of the jeevas it actually be, it is because of that it is there inside the karma chakra of jeevas apart from out of out of that it is not at all there tapasya is not at all prakrit this tapasya is not at all prakrit that this astanga yog brahm yog ram yog nishtha definitely sometimes people are actually can count that but it is there already but you should not do that so all those bonded jeeva it is coming into the karma chakra bonded jeevas especially some speciality is there what is that speciality because bhakti is there bhakti is not at all there so in this 84 uh, different kind of species 24 lakh species out of that all those bonded jeevas are actually just uh, are getting uh, cycled into this 84 species they are actually moving ahead and they are thinking some they are becoming demons some asur sometimes human sometimes kinnar gandharva sometimes snakes sometimes birds beasts they are taking different different forms sometimes bhut brahma whatever different different forms they are taking but they don't have any information regarding that 
you understand the point what i'm speaking pointed jivas in this 84 like species just by go getting into the cycle of 84 like species where actually they are going and when which species they are going they don't have any information regarding that those people they are demons human beings snake kinnar gandharv everything different different kind of species they are getting into the, that body that's when gita it is written from brahma up till the ants bonded jivas they are actually going all around in this circle of birth and death this actually all each and every it is actually praha prabha vishisht some uh, some different different works specialty they are getting some kind of uh, siddhi in that sometimes in some vishay they are actually getting some siddhi in that vishay and whatever the because actually power is given by bhagwan only this all from brahma till the bonded jeevas we are seeing in each and every one that different different kind of prabha vishisht we can see that someone is doing something someone is doing something in different different vishay they are actually having different different kind of eligibility uh, to do some kind of a work but still that this all kind of effects it is it is not at all satya it is not all automatic this this is they are not our own power this is not like that but it is actually the actual cause is bhagwan behind that this all kind of activities what we are doing whether brahma indra varun whosoever is there demigod all actually each and every having the one's kind of special power but every all power actually is given by bhagwan every power is given by bhagwan to them you understand the point what i am speaking this actually their satyashit the automatic uh, power it is not at all there with all those demigods this is actually the power given via bhagwan so just by having this kind of uh, misconception if they get definitely they want to con they will go to hell all the power actually is coming from bhagwan govind bhagwan that who is giving uh, to particular person that particular power that he is going at in his life that is actually uh, given by govind only the bhagwan bhagwan's the actual uh, the actual instructions the instructions of bhagwan that instructions of bhagwan if you will no one can just uh, uh, no one can uh, go ahead of the instructions given by bhagwan no one has this kind of uh, eligibility on courage that they will not follow the instructions everyone is bound to carry out the order of bhagwan no one can um, uh, have this kind of power not to follow the instructions of bhagwan if bhagwan has given us something special that if some kind of false ego if will come inside us then how we can speak that we have just preached so much in this whole material world this all foolishness you can't speak this kind of thing that i have just done preaching nobody has done anything ah yes nobody has done even your own mangal you haven't done and you are thinking that you have done preaching your own mangal if you have got then you will not be speaking like that that you haven't done your own mangal only then what you will do mangal of others you are foolish number 1 what to speak so govind bhagwan that same govind that uh, up till what point he is actually dancing the others other jeevas he will be dancing up till that point only that govind who is giving that much effect to a particular jeeva according to that the jeevas have to go according to that they can't do on their own independent will apart from that they can't do anything at all apart from that they cannot do anything uh, at all you they don't have this kind of power to do go ahead in upadesh amrit also it is written in keno upanishad sorry it's written that inside demigods the false ego is just getting inside them all the demigods getting false ego inside them 
and okay let's go uh, we will be just we have already defeated all the demons and asuras we have got victory over the demons and uh, they thinking that they have done that and bhagwan thinking are i have just helped them and they are thinking that uh, my name is not at all there that though nobody is thinking of me that i have already given them the power to get victory over the demons and just by taking one kind of uh, test to them bhagwan actually uh, bhagwan actually just coming on the gate of uh, heaven and there at the gate of heaven he is just sitting there in a very strange uh, jiva he is nobody can understand him who is he and he is thinking that very strange creature he is who are you are you don't have the eligibility to come in how you came here and you what is your actually introduction who are you actually then uh, one person came there and he just want why you why you devata just went there and that why you have come here who are you and then bhagwan speaking that who are you that are you don't know i am why you dev <laughs> what you can do that i can just uh, blow away each and everything of this material okay so you do one thing in this re- that this straw piece is there and you just uh, have this eligibility to just uh, uh, blow that away and he has just given all his power but even that one piece of straw cannot go uh, from that position and it's that he's thinking that how it is possible that uh, straw is not at all moving okay after that varuna varun devta has just came in front of him and then he's asking that who are you maharaj then uh, the bhagwan uh, i will be speaking at uh, who i am but you tell me that who are you i am varun devta what you can do i can with my whole water i can just uh, uh, take away everything okay so you just uh, all four direction there is water and water and that uh, if this straw will go away then i will see, want to see your power you just see if this straw can you can just, just take it away from here that with all his power he just collected and that agni devta has just came before i have just told you later agni devta has just came and who are you maharaj actually uh, i will just be giving my introduction later so i will be telling that you can you just uh, i my name is agni dev he speak okay what you can do are i can just uh, infinity i can everything i can burn it up in this material world okay so you just uh, uh, burn this straw then after that again he is coming back that straw is not at all burned away and they become all very much restless and uh, Uh, they are thinking that are who is he actually why we are actually unable to destroy that straw when indra maharaj came then that strange creature just got um, got away from that place and that uh, jiva is actually brahma that strange creature and in uma devi in the sky speaking that gyan daini top most brahm knowledge uma devi speaking uh, getting manifested herself and speaking and what you are actually th- uh, uh, thinking that his name is brahma he is not a small creature he is just one kind of testing for you and inside you what kind of false ego has come uma devi speaking that what kind of false ego inside your heart you have got victory over the demons that kind of contribution who has done that that brahma is the actual cause of that that inside you that kind of false ego came that's why he just wants to test you and he has just came here to test you that is actually brahma vastu don't have false ego at all in some someone some power is there that don't have this kind of false ego inside you that you have your own power because this is your actual request on to your lotus feet that today i will be just uh, uh, just giving rest up till this point a very infinitesimal jiva i have to give rest today yam brahma varun hinda madha manuto stunvanti di vaistavai ಸಾಮಗಾಂತಿಷದ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಸಾಮಗೇನಾವಸ್ಥಿತಗತಿ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಯೋಗಿ ಯಸಂತ ನಿಧುಸುರಸುರಗಣ ದೇವಾಯುತ ಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ವಾಂಛಕಲ್ಪತರು ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಪತಿ ತಾನ ಪಾವನೆ ಭವಿಷ್ಣಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ